All right, Shalom. First off, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. And it's a sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go in this lesson on basically um, America is trying to Americanize the whole entire world. The so-called white man, okay, is destroying the world, okay? Um, he's taking now uh, countries and places and um, putting in uh, puppet leaders and forcing the people to believe what they want them to believe, okay? They're making the people think, you know, um, that the, the so-called white man is, is always the good guys, okay? And, and you're able to do that when you overtake somebody, okay? And you can teach further on down the line that you was always the, the good people in the end, okay? And that's what they're doing. Now, I'm going to start off with the scripture, Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, which is the so-called white man, the hand of the wicked, the, the ones who, who lineage goes back to, to Esau, okay? He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay? And um, one thing that you notice whenever the so-called white man go to these other countries or uh, wherever he goes at, they put in their own system, okay, their religious system. You got, you're going to have churches in the, um, in that area, okay, going to bring Christianity, d democracy, okay, and that's what the so-called white man uh, does, okay. Now, one thing that brothers have to realize is that this is something that has been going on for uh, many uh, years, okay? Um, it's, it's the word Hellenization, okay? It says Hellenization or Helen, Hellenization is a historical spread of the ancient Greek culture and to a lesser extent, language over foreign people conquered by Greeks or brought into their sphere of influence. Okay, and that's what America does. Okay, they're they're uh, they're spreading. Okay, their um, democracy and their ways of living throughout the whole entire world, the same way that the Greeks did. Okay, the scripture says uh, the thing that is that is to be is that which is done, and there is no new thing under the sun. Okay, so the 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 American culture. Is spreading their historical influence over to these other countries. Okay? Now, you have people who know who the president of the United States are in these other countries, but they don't know the president of China or the president of, you know, any other place. Okay? Um, so, so you, you, you got people that, that go over there and they speak uh, English. Okay? Um wherever the so-called white man rules. And it's not just America, you know, but it's all these other uh, uh, so-called white uh, uh, countries also, okay? Um, particularly during the Hellenistic period, following the campaigns of Alexander the Great in the fourth century BC, the result of Hellenization was that elements of Greek origin combined in various forms and degrees with local elements these greek influences spread from the mediterranean basin as far east as the modern day pakistan in modern times hellenization has been associated with the adoption of modern greek culture and ethnic and cultural homogenization of greece okay and you know uh Americanized, you know, America is trying to go to these other countries and they, America is 
a, a big melting pot of all different types of cultures. So now people could go um, where, wherever America is. Now you have um, homosexuality, okay? And I'm just using America as a loose term, you know, so that, you know, brothers can uh, get it, you know. But America is, is the so-called white man is bringing confusion into this world, okay? And, and making the world look at things from his point of view, okay? Um, so everywhere that they go, okay, the so-called white man is bringing out their culture and their uh, influence no matter where it, where it is. And that's been prevalent for many years, okay? Even going on down to the word, the term um, um, African-American, okay now the term african-american or africa comes from the, the uh so-called white man named um scipio um africanus publius cornelius scipio africanus also known as scipio the african scipio africanus major Scipio Africanus, the elder Scipio the Great, was a Roman general and later consul who, who is often regarded as one of the greatest generals and military strategists of all times. His main achievements were during the Second Punic War, where he is best known for defeat in Hannibal at the final battle of Zama, one of the feats that earned him the agnomen Africanus. Okay, so this is who Africa is named after. Okay, uh, Scipio Africanus. Okay, it says one of the uh, one of the greatest generals and military uh, strategists of all time. Okay, now you also have America. Okay, it says Americo Vespucci was an Italian explorer, financier, navigator, and cartographer who first demonstrated that Brazil and the West Indies did not represent Asia's eastern outskirts as initially conjectured from Columbus's uh, voyages, but instead constituted an entirely separate landmass here, here, hitherto unknown to old worlders. Co colloquially referred to as the new world this super i mean this second supercontinent came to be uh termed americas deriving its name from americas the latin version of vespucci's first name okay so america is named after amerigo vespucci and africa is named after the so-called white man named scipio africanus Okay, and this is just um, a product of America, um, America and Africa being um, named after um, two so-called white people. The scripture says that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Now, what was those lands called before they, they came there? Okay. You have to you have to go through the scriptures to, to find that, but a lot of people don't want to go through the scriptures, and they want to say, "Oh, you believe in what the Bible, what the, what a man wrote." Well, who told you that this place was called America? Who told you that this place was called Africa? Who told you that you're African American? Okay, this is Psalms forty nine and eleven. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, and their dwelling places to all generations. They called their lands after their own names. Okay? They called their land America. Which before they came over here to America, who was living over here? The so called Native Americans. Okay? Which they're, they wasn't called American. This place wasn't called America before they, uh, they came over here. What happened to the 13 colonies? Okay? And then you had uh, other places. That was owned in America. That was uh, owned through uh, like the French, you know, the British. Okay. 
you had the, the, the north and the south, okay, before this place was called America, okay? But people don't want to don't wanna listen, but it says there that, I mean, they call their lands after their own names. America Vespucci, which is named after America, and Africa, which is named after Scipio Africanus. And the person who te termed or coined that term African American is this guy right here, Jesse Jackson. Okay? Now, I believe it says um, it in his uh, Wikipedia page about uh, him uh, during his, his presidency, he um, came up with the, the, the term African American. Okay, which Africa is a whole total different continent, and America is two different continents. You got North and South America. Okay, um, you know we could be from China and call ourselves Chinese. Okay, Chinese American. Okay, but Jesse Jackson populated the term um, African American, and I believe it was around the time during his. Uh, his uh, presidency, okay, that he uh, came up with that term, okay. Um, Lord willing, I'll find it, okay. But with that, I want to go to the next scripture. This is uh, Isaiah one, and uh, and and three. The ox knows his his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not know. My people doth not consider. If all the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay, let, well, we're the, we're the Israelites according to the Bible, okay? One of the, the children, one of the, from one of the 12 tribes of the children who came from out of the, the, the seed of Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons, and those children are predominantly the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, Okay? And our people don't consider that they're Israelites because of the way that their society is set up, okay? And you got the leaders of this people who caused um, this our people to, to err, okay? Um, this is who came up with the term African-American. The, the term African-American has crept steadily into the nation's vocabulary since 1988 when the Reverend Jesse Jackson held a news conference to urge Americans to use it to refer to blacks okay and even the word black is a whole total different uh, name okay because you have the East Indians who are black also you know but you don't hear them calling themselves that okay but our people don't even consider that they're the Israelites why because America and, and the so-called white man rules the earth, okay? Um, here goes some um, slave signs, okay? And on, on them slave signs, you don't see the term African-American. You see Negro, okay? Uh, you see colored people, okay? But it's all, it's all spiritual. It's all, it's all uh, spiritual okay that that things are the way that they are okay because the the lord made it that way okay this is uh habakkuk two and four behold his soul which is lifted up in him i mean which is lifted up is not upright in him but the just shall live by his faith like we have faith that we're the children of israel okay um yeah also because he transgresses by wine Okay, everywhere he go, he, he put his different philosophies everywhere he go. And then next thing you know, people are following what, what he want them to believe. Like the Chinese people don't, they call themselves Chinese when they come over here. He is a proud man, neither keeps at home. And that's what America does. Everywhere they go, they try to keep other people in line. He who en enlarges his desire is, is health. And what did we read? The, the the definition of the word Hellenization. Okay? America is trying to Hellenize the whole entire world. 
okay bring this new world order to um, pass and as is death and cannot be satisfied but gathers unto him all nations and heaps unto him all people okay and now you can come over here to america and you can be whatever you want to be you could be a homosexual but then heck you don't even got to do that we'll 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 bring it to you okay so with that said man you know america the the, the ways of this society you know it's all um due to the hands of the wicked man okay there's no order in this place there's there's no um structure you know is is in in this, the structure that they do have is 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 false okay but with that man hopefully this was an edifying lesson and i want to say shalom until next time